Hello everybody and welcome back to Oknit, the story of our little fellow and his friend the Alva. We just rescued an ancient tree and that makes me very happy. And he can make us some delicious herb mixture and we happen to have some herbal ingredients that we want to give him. So let's see what happens. How about these? The creature asked as it presented the herbs to the tree. Perfect. These would mix well. One moment, my friends. The ancient tree cleared his throat before continuing to chew both plants into a thick salve. After chewing for a good while, he continued. There you are. I hope this will aid you in some way. Be careful with it, though. This turned out to be a very potent mixture. Hmm. What can it do? Numbing salve. Oh, maybe we can use it on the sow, right? That's blocking our way. We try that. Here she is with her glowing red eyes. Eat this, Glosson. Uh, here you are. It looks very tasty, doesn't it? The creature presented the haunch of meat before Glosson's frightening jaws. The gluttonous sow quickly sunk her teeth into the smelly flesh, instantly devouring sinew and bone alike. Not satisfied by the meal, she once more turned her attention toward the small creature fidgeting before her. Oh no. G good, wasn't it? The small creature tried as her jaws opened. Then her expression changed, the hungry mouth turning into a wide yawn as she proceeded to rest her head against the moss-covered stone. And she's sleeping. As she fell into a deep slumber, the thorns emanating from her body retracted from the clearing. The creature smiled, its hands still trembling. We're getting close. I can feel it. Can we now attach the glossum? The alva tugged hard on the creature's ear. No, we can't. Maybe it's better like that, otherwise it might wake up. Coppergate. As the pair arrived at the deepest part of the forest, an unnerving silence instilled itself in the clearing. Unbeknownst to them, they had arrived at the Copper Gate, a lost doorway to the oldest of mountains, rumored to contain treasures long since hidden from the eyes of men. As they stood there, the faint wind carried with it soft-spoken whispers in a strange tongue throughout the woods, spreading a sense of unease to plant and animal alike. Oh, wow, but here one of the chains is missing, and here's the last stone, the fire stone. A statue depicting an ominous creature was standing near the tree line. Hmm. Before we activate it, we of course look what we have here. Spruce branches. A couple of branches had fallen down from one of the spruce trees surrounding the clearing. What are you doing on the ground? You should be up there. The small creature thought, as it looked up into the thick web of branches. That is true, but now that they are down, maybe we can take him. The creature reached down and picked up the two branches. And I guess we have no arms for our totem up there. A chisel had been left firmly stuck in the soil. Can we take it? What's this sticking up from the ground? Do you think we can pull it out? The creature asked the Alva, who didn't appear to share the creature's sudden curiosity. 
Let's try picking it up. The creature reached out with its dainty little hand and pulled out the chisel, almost falling over as it stumbled backwards to regain its balance from the effort. But it worked. We do have it. What are you? You are a lever. I guess we cannot yet use it. A crudely put together lever of wood and bone was standing near the mountain wall. I wonder what will happen if I pull this, the creature said to the Alva as they looked up at the large door in front of them. Try it then. The creature pulled on the lever with all of its strength, but only the creaking noise of wood grating against wood could be heard. Yeah, I guess we first have to activate the copper gate. Over the centuries, many have claimed to have seen the copper gate, although its shape seems to vary from one tail to the next, and when being asked to show others its location, None seem to recall the path they only recently trod. Hidden away deep in the darkest of forests during a night such as this one, it appears. However, don't let its lackluster appearance fool you, as it is said to have been created long ago to protect the most powerful of magical beings. Hmm... The small creature touched the coarse stone, feeling a powerful aura emanating through the gate. Now I'm curious. Let's light the firestone. Oh, we can't. Hmm. Is there something wrong with it? These statues must mean something, the creature said to the Alva, who was peeking out from behind its ear to have a look. The statue was cold to the touch, apart from the area surrounding a small carving on its base. It seems to be like the others, but we have to do something before we can activate it. What do they do? Ooh. There are voices in the wind. And we can stop the rain. And cast an earthquake. So let's see what we can do. We can finish the totem here, I guess. With the branches that we just found. So this would be... What is depicted here? And it's finished. An unfinished totem had been placed at the center of three large stones, decorated by various rune carvings. But it's finished now. The totem was firmly stuck in the hmm. stone slab beneath. Okay, we cannot find out anything new here. We still have a chisel. Oh, let's try and get loose the chain with a chisel. That might be a thing, right? Hmm. No. no. Okay, that's not the thing we have to do, though. We still have the reflecting ring, cloth, this necklace and the cup. Hmm. And we didn't do anything with the grave yet. Okay, hmm. the grave doesn't need an offering. Hmm. Or at no. least none that we have. But maybe now that the totem is done... Oh, that is new. As the rain had stopped, the receding water had revealed an old urn at the bottom of the hole. Hello there, little ones, the creature exclaimed as it noticed two worms emerging through the soil. <laughs> Let's see if we can take it. The creature 
lifted the wet urn out of the muddy soil. Is there anything else underneath? There isn't. Urn of oil. Can we break it open? Or put it in the cloth? So we have oil. What would we need oil for? Can we corrupt mm. the oil? We can't. Hmm, maybe we have to oil the door because it's so ancient. What else could we do? Or oh, pour oil into the fire? No, that's mostly not a good idea, right? We have a chisel though. Hmm. Did anything else change without the rain? Here anything is as it was? The cliff place is still like it was too? And I wouldn't know what we could do with oil here in that place. And uh, who could need oil here? I guess nobody. We finished that. So let's see if this was the key to lit the firestone here. No, it wasn't. Hmm. Maybe we can oil the lever? They should get things moving. The creature said to the Alva as she emptied the contents of the urn onto the lowest parts of the lever. Okay, that helped. But we still cannot activate the fire statue. And we have nothing that would burn. Can we use mm, no, the chisel? No, that's not how it happened. Or maybe we have to... Mm. Finish no. the rule? Let's try to pull the lever now. Oh. Ah. So maybe we have to do it in a certain order. So what was it? Let's check it again. It was the, the earth rune? Then the wind rune, and then the water rune. Okay. Let's put them all out. There was the wind rune. Here was the water rune. Water. And on this side was the nature rune, right? Let's go there. Yes. Okay, we put it out. So, nature. Then wind. Wind was here, right? Then water. We are lucky that they are in order already. Water. And now let's check the gate. Hmm. Nothing changed, right? But we did do it in the right order. This one is not working and we cannot light the fire rune. Yeah, maybe we have to light it when those two are Deactivated, so let's deactivate wind and water. 
and they have to be just in the order as the gate depicts them. So wind and water. There you go. Maybe we can now light the fire. We can't. Hmm. Something's wrong with the fire rune. So, what happens if we put out the fire too? Or the nature, sorry. Like that? And what do we still have? Hmm. Nothing I would know how to use. Let's pull the lever now and see what's happening. And three of them are alight, but not our fire rune. And yeah, we cannot use it. Maybe we have to make it rain again? We can't do that either. I guess we need the chain first. So what can we do about it? We do have a chisel, but it's not working directly on the chain. Can we ask the ancient tree? What I'd give to have some more of those juicy berries. The ancient tree mumbled as the pair took their leave. <laughs> and I would like to give you more, but I don't have any. So, can we burn something in the fire and bring it to the rune stone? Oh, we can use the chisel. I thought I, I didn't. As the creature held the chisel amongst the coals, the heat caused it to glow red, retaining the intensity of the fire for a short moment before beginning to lose its warmth. Hmm. Hot chisel. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. We can now use it on a chain? And this looks so great. Our self-made totem, I like it a lot. Let's try that. It seems to work. As the creature held the heated chisel against the base of the chain, the iron slowly began to glow red, allowing it to break the link holding the chain in place. And we have a chain. So let's try and repair the door. It works. Now in what order do we have to light the rune stones still the fire doesn't doesn't work this is irritating so there's no order right which you can just activate them so let's do that let's activate the wind and uh, the nature or earth and the water rune was by the cliff. 
we are very lucky that the saw is still sleeping. And now let's have a look what we can do about the fire rune. Hmm. Nothing yet. Okay. Now we can use the chains. Huh. So this is a riddle. Um what what what, what does it want from us? Do they all have to be at the same height? And do they all have to be up or down? Hmm. Hmm. Or does this have to be up? I have no idea. I'm just clicking randomly. I'm sorry. Okay. That doesn't seem to be the case, what we have to do. Oh, now it's all wind. So the color of the flame that comes out. So down there were all, I guess, red, so it's fire. Up they are wind. So this needs to be up. That's the wind. This needs to be all the way down. And now we have to find out the other colors. Two down is water. Yeah, that's fire. So this needs to be all the way down. This needs to be all the way up. This needs to be two down. And this... Is it like that? No, that's the wind. Oh, they need to change. Okay. So this needs to be... No! Um... This needs to be three down. And this needs to be all the way down. But not you. Uh, mm, no, no, you need to be like that. Was it like that? That's right. That's right. We got it. But we still have the problem that the fire rune is not starting. Okay, but this should be a problem. Let's touch it. The statue. No, it <laughs> doesn't say anything. But this should be a problem of the next episode. So thank you so much for, lis for listening and watching. And have a wonderful day. Goodbye.